Okay guys, here is probably the last video for this packet. This is the topic 23D section for area of regular polygons. So um, up till now we've been finding areas of triangles and quadrilaterals, um, and we've even done some composite shapes putting things together. Um, but now we're gonna just find the area of regular polygons. And the easiest way to think about doing that first is to think about breaking up a regular polygon, like composite shapes, into shapes that we know how to find the area of. So you'll notice if we're gonna find the area of a pentagon, in this first picture, I've already broken it up into triangles for you. Because it's a regular polygon, we're going to come up with five triangles that are going to have the same area. These are going to be congruent triangles. You can prove it using um, angle, side, angle if you want, since all the sides um, or like all of the, yeah, the sides of this pentagon are going to have the same length and then all of the interior angles will also be the same. That's what it means to be a regular polygon. Um, but if we want to find the area of this triangle, we're going to use the formula one, oh, sorry, area equals one half base times height. So the problem is sometimes we'll give you the base, sometimes we'll give you the height, and sometimes we'll give you this thing called the radius. Um, a radius of a polygon is essentially, it goes from um, an outer vertex to the center of the polygon. The center is the point that's um, perfectly in between all five of the vertices. So if we go back over here, in order to be able to find the base or find the height, sometimes we're going to have to use trig or special right triangles. Um, in order to know which to use, we first have to figure out what some of these angles are. So this triangle here is not a right triangle, but all five of these triangles can be broken into 290 or um, two right triangles. Well, if we're going to use trig or special right triangles, we have to know what the other two angles, or at least one of the other angles, is in that right triangle. Um, so there's a couple ways you can do it. The first way is to start by determining what one of these angles in here are. So see angle one right here. We know that whenever we make a circle figure with our pen, that we have 360 degrees. Well, if all five of these angles are the same, to find the measure of angle one, we could take 360, divide by the number of triangles, and we end up with a measure of angle one is 72 degrees. Well, since we split our big triangle into half, this angle two is gonna be half of what angle one was. So if I divide that by two, I get 36. So one option is to solve for this angle up here, like we call these central angles, so this is a central angle of my of one. So one thing you can do is solve for half of a central angle. Another option is to solve for half of an interior angle of our polygon. Well, we know how to find the, the um, sum of the interior angles. We take n minus two, so in this case, five minus two, times 180. If I wanna figure out what um, one of the interior angles are, we divide by n, in this case, this is five, and if I do that for my pentagon, I get 108 degrees. Well, this angle three here is gonna be half of what an interior angle is, because half will be here. So if I divide 108 by two, I'll get 54, and that will be the measure of angle three. So let me box those really fast. So we could use either of these angles now to solve for missing pieces. So that's what we're actually gonna do um, in number five. So I am gonna break um, this up into five triangles. I'm really just gonna worry about this one right here. If I can find the area of that triangle, I can multiply by five and get the area of the entire um, pentagon. So I'm gonna take this picture. I'm gonna draw it a little bit bigger because we wanna find the area of this. We know that this has a length of six, okay? Um, this is also gonna be a radius, so we know that this will have a length of six. But we don't know how long this will be. We don't know that it's a um, equilateral triangle. So I'm gonna break this up into my two right triangles. So let's see if we can figure out what to do. Well, because this is a pentagon, we've already done this, we found out that this angle right here is 36 degrees, and we found out 54 degrees. We can't use special right triangles because this isn't a 30, 60, 90, or a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, so we're gonna have to use trig. In order to find the area of this triangle, we're gonna do one half base, times height, okay? So why don't we solve for um, the height first? So if I use this angle, this is gonna be my opposite side, my adjacent side, and my hypotenuse, okay? So let's solve for the height first, we'll call that little h. So if I wanna solve for little h, I'm gonna have to use this side because we know the length is six, we're gonna solve for h. So here we go, o and h, it's sine. So sine of 54, is equal to O over H. 
So the height is going to be 6 times sine of 54. So my height is... Four point eight five four. We're going to round to the thousands place. Okay, so there's my height. I can now plug this in here. Okay, now I'm going to solve for my um, side down here or the base of my triangle. So if I can find out what from here to here is, that will be half of my base. So to find this, I'll call this little b. 54, I'm going to use that 6 again, so I'm going to use cosine with a and h. So cosine of 54 is equal to my adjacent side, so half of my base, over 6. Okay. Okay, so 6 times cosine of 54 is 3.527. Well, remember, that just gave me this part of my base. In order to get the whole thing, I have to double it. So it's going to be 2 times 3.527. Okay? Well, I'm going to leave myself some room here. If I want to find the area of one triangle, now we know it's 1 half, 4.854 times 2 times, 3.527. So if I do that, the area of my triangle is, it's a drum roll, but it's going to take me a moment to type this in. <laughs> 6.848. That does not seem right to me. I think I typed something in. Oh, I did type something in wrong. Oops, sorry. So this is how I could tell that my answer was wrong. If I were to roughly do this in my head, I have 1 half times like 5, or even 1 half times 4, that's 2. 2 times 3, that's roughly 6. 2 times 6, that's 12. I knew my answer was too small. And I actually typed in the half wrong, and that's where my problem came from. Let me try this one more time. That's much better. 1, 2, 0. Okay, well, if I want to find the area of my pentagon, what I really have is five of these triangles. So I'm going to do five times that total. And when I do that, I get a total area of 85.600. Okay. Okay, well, that was a lot of work, wasn't it, to solve it that way the whole time? It turns out we actually have a simpler formula to help us solve the problem. And let me show you what that is. You'll notice that when I did the area, I'm going to use another color, and I know this is a lot. The area of this was one half the base. Now, this is really a side of the pentagon, so one of the sides times the height. Now, the height of this in a, pen, or in a regular polygon, we actually call it an apothem. Um, I don't know who came up with that word. The radius is the one that goes from the outside to the center. The apothem is the one that goes from the center down to like the middle. It's perpendicular to one of the sides. It's called the apothem. Okay. Now, you'll notice I have five of those triangles, okay? But I really have is um, the number of triangles is the same as the number of sides. So I really am going to have the number of sides times what the area of one of the triangles is. Now, if you look at n times s, okay, the number of sides times the length of one side, well, that's actually our perimeter, right? Because if I have five sides, I'm multiplying by so I have, um, s plus s plus s plus s plus s, that's the number of sides, that's really my perimeter. My formula for the area of a regular polygon ends up turning out as so the area of a regular polygon is one half apothem times the perimeter. And we're going to actually use that formula from now on. So let's see if we can do this one down here. What is the area of the regular hexagon below? So our formula is one half AP. Well, fortunately for us, we can find the perimeter really fast because one side is 12. There's six sides. So 12 times six is 72. So all I really have to find is my apothem. So remember, here's my center. I'm going to draw in a triangle. 
where my apothem is essentially the height of that big triangle. I need to figure out what this is. Now I'm gonna redraw this here bigger. Okay. Because my whole side is 12, I know that this amount is gonna be six. I know that this is a right um, angle. I have a couple of options. Remember, the first thing I can do is I can say, okay, all of these angles here are, whenever I make a circle, it's 360. In this case, I have six sides, so I'm gonna have six triangles. So if I do 360 divided by six, this whole angle is gonna be 60 degrees, which means this angle right here is only gonna be 30. That means I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. That's pretty nice, right? Okay, well, if I wanna find um, the length of my apothem, where's my apothem? To go from the short side to the long side, I multiply by two. To go from the short side to the medium side, I multiply by root three. Now you could have used trig instead, but we get our apothem as six root three. Okay. Now, if I asked you to give me an exact value for area, I would do one half times six times 72 and I get 216 and then I have root three. That's an exact answer. However, most of the time I'll be okay with a decimal, so you could also do 216 times root three, and you'll get a value of 374.123 inches squared. Now, I really should have put it in inches squared here too. Okay, so there's one problem. I know this is still a little tricky. Um, why don't I actually flip to the next page and get you guys started just a little bit. Remember, you can pause the video at any time if you need to go back or look at my work again. You'll notice that here it says find the area of the following regular polygons. Here's your formula up here. Um, you'll notice we give you the apothem each time and we give you what one side is. Well, in this case, I have an octagon. That means I'm gonna have eight sides. So if I just multiply this by eight, I'll get my perimeter. So maybe we'll add a little note right here. Um, perimeter equals the number of sides times a side length. So this is the number of sides this is the length of one side. Okay. And then if you look down here, those four problems are like what we just did together. So I think you guys have the tools you need. I'll be coming around. Well, all of you, your teacher will be coming around to help you. Um, so good luck and um, let us know if you need your help. Sorry, let us know if you need our help. <laughs>